Hey everyone, we're going to be doing the outer space cookie kit today. Um, I have all my things laid out. I've got my cookies. I have four, you have eight. Um, my icing bag, three different colors, sprinkles, my tools, which is a skewer, and today I have a little brush as well, and a napkin or baby wipe to keep everything clean. Um, I'm gonna start with my icing bags. Um, if you took them out of the refrigerator, make sure they have time to come to room temperature, like 15 or 20 minutes. Um, and if you see any type of color separation, which can happen over time if you're not using them right away, um, you want to go ahead and, and use your fingers to kind of knead the bag and mix the color back together so that there's no separation. Okay. We're going to cut our piping bags and, um, what we want to do is we want to find that seam. I'm going to turn on its side and pull that tip of the icing bag completely flat like this. Take our sharp scissors and we're going to cut straight across just a tiny little hole like that. And then turn it back over and we're going to push down that seam to open up the tip of the bag. Okay. All right. I'm going to do that with my other ones. Again, find that seam. Turn it over on its side. Make sure it's nice and flat. Cut straight across with your scissors. Remember, you can always make the hole bigger, so you want to start small. Find that seam again and push down and open the tip. One more time with our yellow. Find that seam, turn over on its side, flatten the tip. Straight across and open that back up. All right. Okay, we are ready to go. So we're going to start, these cookies have a lot of different steps. Um, so a few of them we're going to start and then come back to. Um, our rocket ship right here, um, we're going to do a few different steps on and then we're going to come back and, and let it dry a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our little, um, the, the top part of the, of the rocket ship. Remember when we are piping an outline, we want to start very close to the cookie. We want to apply gentle pressure and once the icing hits the cookie, we're going to lift up, and drop our icing like a rope, and go around the edge just like that. And then we're going to flood in the middle. Remember when you're flooding, you're giving more pressure and filling in all that space. I'm going to take our our scribe tool, our skewer, and we're going to even that out just like that. Okay. All right. We're also going to do a little round window in the middle. So just find the middle of the cookie, pick up and drop a rope in the shape of a circle, just like this. Okay. And then go ahead and flood it in. Make sure your skewer is clean. And we're going to wiggle that around and make it settle. Now at this point, if you haven't done a perfect circle, you can push out the edges and make it look more like a circle. Circles are hard, guys. Okay. Like so. And we're going to put a little highlight bubble right there. Okay. Um, the other step we're gonna do before we we let this one dry for a while is we're gonna do the little a little gray spot right here. This is um, I'm not sure what this is called, but this is gonna be where the fire comes out of the bottom of the rocket. <laughs> okay, so we have our little box right here. Wiggle that out with your skewer okay remember you can always tap the cookie like this too give a little shake i noticed that my yellow dot didn't exactly fall so i'm going to go knock that down there we go okay so we are going to let that dry for a minute and while that happens we're going to work on our um planet. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the ring. So I'm going to start right here in the corner, right where the ring meets the planet. And I'm going to drop my rope of icing 
around there. I'm gonna keep going. Keep, ooh, see, I even mess up sometimes. That's okay. I'm gonna take my, my napkin. I'm gonna wipe that up. And we're gonna start again, okay? I'm gonna start in the corner. I'm gonna drop my rope of icing. I'm gonna go all the way around and finish right here where it meets the planet again, okay? And I'm gonna draw a second line, okay? We're gonna start right here again. And we're gonna draw a second line a little bit closer to the planet part, just like that. And there's our ring. We're gonna go ahead and fill that in. Okay, take your tool, your, your scribe tool, and you're going to get all those edges in there. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay, a little shake, 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 a little tap, 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 tap. Okay, and nice and smooth. Now we're gonna add some sprinkles on this ring. I, at least I am, you don't have to. These are your cookies, like I've said before. You can do whatever you'd like. But I like the sprinkles. I think they kind of look like the particles in the ring. So I'm gonna drop some sprinkles. I'm gonna be kind of careful about this because I'm care I care about where they're placed, all right? Um, just like that. And I'm gonna be kind of picky about my colors too because I want Nice color distribution. And if they fall over like that, I want to take my tool and just swish them back over. Make sure they're all on that ring. Okay. Okay, I like that. Um, we don't want them to get too close to the side of the planet because we're going to come back and flood that later. So we don't want a big chunk of sprinkle in our way, we want them pretty much in the center of the ring. Okay. All right, we're gonna push that guy aside and let him dry for a while. Um, now we've got our moon. Now our moon, um, we're gonna make a little 3D. Um, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna just squiggle some gray icing on there. Just no rhyme or reason to it. And you're gonna take your little brush, as I throw mine all over the place, take your little brush and we're gonna brush it out. And you want just a nice little even layer. Stay away from the edges because we don't wanna see this um, on the edges when we flood it later. Um, a nice little, but you might have to take some off. I might have put a little too much on here. Um, a nice little flat layer of um, icing and this is what we're gonna see we're gonna draw some circles here and this is what we're gonna see poking through um, when we have our circles so start with a little bit I had too much um, and then you can always add more if you need it so just like that you want those lines those lines are good texture you'll see later Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute, um, just while it's doing its thing. And I'm gonna show you our star. Our star is gonna be um, our wild card. You can do whatever you want with it. You can keep it just yellow, you can put sprinkles all over it, you can do lines and, and pull your scribe tool through, um, but I'm going to do a few fun things. So again, when we're piping our outline, we wanna start very close to the cookie. We're going to apply gentle pressure, and once the icing hits the cookie, we're gonna lift up and you kinda of wanna to touch down every time you change directions, okay? So every time we change, we're kinda of doing a little anchor point that helps us keep our defined edges. Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna flood my star, so I'm going to start wherever you'd like. And again, 
more um, aggressive with the pressure here. I'm stacking that icing on top of itself so it makes a nice little um, puff, a three-dimensional um, icing, if you will. Okay, and we're gonna go around the edges. I like to do this back and forth motion so that I make sure I know I'm getting it to the edge of the cookie. Okay, and then once that's done, I can go pretty fast. Okay. Take my skewer, knock out all those lines like this. Give it a little shake. Ooh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Still knocking out those lines. Make sure your skewer stays clean when you're doing this. You don't want to drag in another color from a different cookie or a different step. Okay, I'm gonna do a few dots over here in the corner. Just kind of like random big ones. And then I'll go back in and do some little ones. Just kind of make it look unique. All right. Maybe one more over there. There we go. And you can either tap your cookie like this, or you can take your scribe tool, make sure it's clean, and um, knock down those dots if they're not settling immediately, okay? We want them to all be one even layer. Okay, I like those dots, they look good. Now with my sprinkles, I'm gonna go ahead and do sprinkles on this side, just to make it look fun and funky and uh, spacey. Why not, right? And monitoring my sprinkle color placement. I like to make sure the colors are well distributed. Like that, like that. <laughs> All right, that's my star. And you can do whatever you'd like with your star. Um, this is just an example that I had and I thought it looks pretty cute. Okay, um, let's go back to our rocket ship. This guy's over here. Our star is finished. We can put him that way. Okay, our rocket ship has had just a few minutes to dry, but and it's not dry by any means, but it is crusted over a little bit. So because it's crusted over, we can add a few more elements. Um, so our middle section here, we're going to make yellow. So I'm gonna start here um, at that top portion that we already flooded, and I'm going to outline. I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna come straight across. And then up. And straight across. Okay, with my circle in the middle, I'm gonna actually pipe around it first. I feel like that gives me a better end product than when I try to flood right up next to it. Okay, and then let's fill it in. Knock out those lines. Make sure the icing is going all the way to the edges. Okay, you can even stick the cookie with your with your skewer and give a little shake. That helps too. All right, maybe a little closer up there. It's hard because I'm not exactly over the cookie. There we go. Okay. Okay, looks good. Um, I 
Also, I'm gonna add some sprinkles here. Again, this is totally optional. And I'm gonna add a little line of sprinkles at the top here. There's not a lot of pink in there. Let's get a pink one. And if you don't like this idea, you can leave it out, more power to you. I think it looks cute. Then I'm gonna add a little line of sprinkles down at the bottom. Use your tool to kind of scoot them over where you want them to be. Like this. Okay. Then we're gonna add our fire at the bottom. Um, all you have to do really is put like a little blob of icing right here. And then we're gonna take our tool or our skewer and kind of drag it out. Drag it out to the edges. And then it looks like there's fire coming out of the back bottom of our rocket ship. Just like that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this part in just a minute. Um, back over to our moon. Now this has had a little chance to dry. That's a really thin layer of icing, so it doesn't need a crazy long amount of time to dry. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to make some circles here so we can leave that that portion open and give our um, cookie some three-dimensional texture. So I'm just going to drop a circle right here like this and then a couple over here. You always want to make your circles a little bigger than you anticipate them because when you flood around them they're going to get closed in a little bit because just the icing pushes on it. Okay, and they don't have to be perfect circles. This is, these are, you know, kind of like craters. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pipe my outside. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and flood. So I'm pushing harder on the icing bag. I'm going to do my little wiggle tip. So I'm using the tip of the piping bag to push the icing to the edges. Um, just a little trick I use. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna go around each of these circles. and leave that space open. All right, now I'm gonna take my skewer, knock out all those lines, keeping those open areas so they look cool and three-dimensional and like, a, like the moon. Give it a little shake. Get rid of all those lines and you can put sprinkles on your moon if you'd like. I'm not going to, I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, now the next step would be to add some texture to this moon, but we have to wait. So we have to give this, um, flood at least, I would say like four hours really to be safe to dry and then come back. And I'm going to show you right now. I have one here that's already dried. Okay. This one's been drying, um, for at least four hours. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little brush that's in your kit Okay, and I'm just gonna start with some icing on the end of it. And I'm going to just dab like this. Dab some gray, and you can give yourself a few squirts of gray. You want that to go down there? <laughs> okay, I just do. You 
some texture around the cookie and make it look more, you know, like a planet, like a moon, okay? You can do as much and, or as little as you'd like. I'm gonna do a little bit more, a little bit more. And just, just tapping the edge of the brush. Just like this. And there we go, there's our moon. So this guy we're gonna come back to and dry, when, once he dries, we'll, we'll do that same technique with that one, okay? Um, we've, actually we're gonna come back to our rocket ship. Um, and we're gonna do this bottom part right here. We're gonna grab our, our green color and I'm just going to pipe along these last shapes that are left right here. Fill them in. Okay. Same thing with the other side. I like to keep the tip of the piping bag clean so we don't. Um, if you're starting off with a gob of icing on the on the end of the piping bag, it's not going to give you the right shape that you need. So you always want to keep it nice and clean. Okay. Take our tool. It's almost settled on its own. That's good. Oh, we're gonna do that and that. All right, awesome. We're gonna come back. We're gonna let this dry for just a second, and then we're come back and do our final steps. Um, our planet over here is super fun. Um, we've got our ring. Our ring has had a chance to crest over, so we're gonna flood it. I'm gonna use my teal or my green, whatever you wanna call this, and then I'm going to add some um, yellow swirls. Um, if my piping bag has, has icing coming out of it, I like to drag it along the cookie. I know I'm gonna fill in that spot anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna follow the edge of the planet. And remember that kind of leaves a little gap in between the planet and the ring. Um, like that, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the bottom half. Well, I'm gonna, let's do the top half first. Okay, I'll flood that in. Okay, make sure it touches all the edges. <clears throat> Use your tool to knock out any lines. Okay, then we have our yellow. I'm just gonna do like a squiggle of yellow. And I'm gonna do kind of a swirling technique to give my planet some fun color. Okay. And the same thing with the bottom. sure all of that is spread out and it's touching the ring right there. Okay. okay, I'm gonna add some yellow. And give it some swirls. Now, if you swirl too much, you'll end up kind of with a gross brown mess. So just do a few swirls, just enough to give us that idea that it's got some dimension to it, okay? And that's my planet, love it. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to our 
our rocket. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna add a few lines just for detail. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a gray line right here where the top portion meets the yellow portion. Okay. Another one right here under the sprinkles. So it kind of looks like the sprinkles are a, a band. Okay, same thing down here. And down the bottom, just like that. I'm going to add two detail lines on this part of the rocket. Just start right here with your yellow and follow the edges. It kind of jets out like this, and like that. All right, that's it. We've got our cookies decorated. I hope you had fun. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.